Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the North Yorkshire Registration Service, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Danby Castle, this most outstanding venue chosen by Declan and Kate for their special day. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And you are all gathered here to witness and celebrate the joining in matrimony of Declan Jack Gwynne and Kate Lucy Greenup. Marriage in this country is a union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. <laughs> this is where I can't even open it because... <laughs> Hi B. First off, don't cry. You'll ruin all the expensive makeup. I'm going to try and help you by not being too soppy. You're my best friend, my biggest fan and my main squeeze. I can't believe you're actually going through with it. I thought you would have definitely have took off by now, so props to me. I guess I'm not that bad. Either way, it's not too late if you want to run away my car's parked opposite Mr Chips. If I'd have told the 17-year-old me I was going to be marrying that girl with the red hair, I'd probably have said, who, bitch? <laughs> I miss you, and I can't wait to see you. Don't cry. I love you. Dear Declan, nine years ago, I would have never have believed that the boy I met in the baseball cap at an 18th birthday party would be the man I was going to marry. Our friendship wouldn't have been the same without that friendship developing into sticky bars. <laughs> I know you know what that means. A heart to heart outside of pubs seven years ago. I wouldn't believe have I wouldn't have believed that a drunken bet would have led to a relationship that would have withstand every storm life throws at us. I never forget our first date when that kid called you daddy. Your face was a picture, as well as the smooth trick of catching the last bus to Newcastle. Three years ago I didn't believe that the dog that walked and dragged my feet. No, I, three years ago, I didn't believe that a dog walk that I dragged my feet on would have been more than the best days of my life. Never have I been more grateful for a late night on a Sunday. Today, I believe in us. I believe in everything we can be, and I am so excited for what, ha what the future is going to bring for us. I can't wait to marry you. I love you so much. I wouldn't change anything about our story. Every moment has led to this. All my love, B. Are you, Declan Jack Gwynne, free lawfully to marry Kate Lucy Greenup? I am. Are you, Kate Lucy Greenup, free lawfully to marry Declan Jack Gwynne? The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, do you, Declan, take Kate here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you, Kate, take De Declan here present to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I, Declan Jack Gwen take the Kate Lucy Greenup to be my wedded wife. I, Kate Lucy Greenup, take the Declan Jack Gwynne to be my wedded husband. I promise to love you always. To be true to you alone. To share happiness and sorrow. To honour you and to show respect at all times. I promise to care for you always. And to keep our love and friendship as it is today. 
Please share my hopes and dreams always. Please share my hopes and dreams always. Kate, I give you this ring as a token of our marriage and as a symbol of all that we share. It is therefore now my absolute privilege and a very great pleasure to tell you, you are now lawfully married. You are husband and wife. Would you like to seal that marriage with a kiss? I think so. <laughs> So, firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to join us at this fantastic venue for this great occasion. For every great speech, some people say that you should use the power of three, but I'm not going to do that because I've got far too much to say. I've been given quite strict instructions today from Sharon and Kate and Emma, and Sam, and Declan. <laughs> Pretty much most of you. So anyway, going back to these instructions, there was three that I was given. And the first one, keep it clean. Don't know why they thought I wouldn't do that. Um, apparently six minutes is the sweet spot for this speech. And <laughs> the other one that I got was don't embarrass me. So, where do I start? It's left me with very little options. So everybody who knows me knows how proud I am of my girls. They are without a doubt my greatest accomplishment. But today it's Kate's day. So what can I say about Kate? I think it's probably best to go back to young Kate and start talking about what she was like. Well, when I first met Kate, we found out very quickly that she was nocturnal. She actually came, I think, with Duracell batteries. I know that we've said a few times, haven't we, that we don't actually know how we functioned on so little sleep. The thing that I find fine with Kate is she's never, ever been afraid to speak her mind. I don't know where she gets that from either. But she's always used that to keep me in line. She used to come out with things like, you know, she used to remind me it's just mammy. She used to say, don't spoil the holiday. And apparently, everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> so Declan, I first met, I first met Declan in 2016. You can imagine how proud I was when he said his first words to me in 2019. <laughs> now everybody who knows Deck knows just how he's a chef. You know how proud he is of being a chef. But obviously, you know, when you, you know, daughters seeing somebody you've got to be a little bit more interested so I did ask him what do you what do you like doing what do you get up to in your spare time and he told me he likes to play games he plays Dungeons and Dragons so I thought right okay I don't know anything about that let's see what it's about so I, curiosity I said you know how's that work then he basically gave me a brief brief description of it and told us what they did and how they got up to it and how they did different things and I said to him, I said, so how's it work then? What happens if you get killed? 
he sort of puffed his chest out a little bit and went, I can't be killed, I'm a demigod. I thought, well, Kate's in good hands now then, really. I don't have anything to worry about. So, on behalf of Sharon and I, I would like to propose a toast to Declan and Kate as they go forward as man and wife, a newly married couple, to Mr and Mrs Gwynn. I'm going to keep this short, because uh, I know I know you'll cry, or I'll cry, because, you know, I've been doing a lot of that today. <laughs> but it's too late to back out now. You heard what the lady said, till death, so bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much for coming. And a massive thank you to the staff in front, of, front and back. You guys are killing it. Emma and Eden. You both look beautiful. I got that. <laughs> if you know me well, you know I can usually talk for days, but I'm more nervous about this than the thought of dancing in front of all of you. Kate, you obviously look incredible. First time seeing you wearing a color other than black. <laughs> I knew you the were on, oh, I'll say that again. I knew you were the one when we were in Edinburgh on that Ferris wheel and all, all you did was smile and laugh and um, that'll always be my favourite trip. Um, I can't wait for this next journey and marrying you will be one of the best decisions of my life, almost as good as letting you buy the dog who may or may not be wearing matching ribbons. Now, now all we need to do is go enjoy this party and open all the presents you got me. I, I mean, us. I love you, babe. <laughs>